Whenever the subject of rare and valuable postage stamps comes up, it's inevitable that the usual suspects will be rounded up. You have the post office Mauritius, the one cent magenta, the uh, Swedish tray scaling, and of course the American inverted Jenny. And the one thing they all have in common is that these are old stamps going way back into the 19th century. But the modern era has its fair share of rare and valuable stamps also, with the United States having produced many of them. It seems you can't open a copy of the latest stamp weekly paper without reading about yet another error found on a United States postage stamp. And that's what I want to show you today, some of the most valuable and rare U.S. postage stamps from the last 40 years. Of course, none of these reach the lofty valuations of those classic rarities, but most of them still lie beyond the dreams of the average stamp collector. Almost without exception, modern rarities are the results of production errors, either missing perforations, missing colors, or inverted design elements. In fact, only one of the issues I'll discuss today is not the result of a production error, but rather a deliberately limited print run. And many of the stamps are also just as rare as those classic issues, with only a single copy known to exist. Now, the one thing I need to point out about this list is that it is not the top 25 most valuable or rare stamps. There are many more that are just as rare and just as valuable, but because many of them come from the same series of stamps like the transportation coils, the list would soon become just repetitious and boring. So in the case of the transportations, I've only listed the top couple that are most rare and valuable and left out the rest in order to make room for some other interesting errors. Also, you could find yourself arguing what's more valuable, a single stamp worth 3000 or a Saint-Tenant block of four that's worth 10000 which makes each stamp only worth $2,500. Yeah, frankly, Scarlet, I don't care to get into that argument. So with that, let's take a look at the stamps. In 1987, the Postal Service issued a wildlife pane of 50 different animals. One pane was discovered to have the magenta color missing. That pane was subsequently cut up into its individual 50 stamps, such as this one showing a little bunny. Each individual stamp is now valued at $2,000. Also from 1987 comes this stamp honoring the great tenor Enrico Caruso. Ten stamps have been discovered with the black color missing. These stamps are worth $3,500 each. A transition strip, such as this one, showing the progression from full black ink to none, is worth even more. Next, this coil stamp featuring the Statue of Liberty was found to have some stamps missing the die cuts. If you have a pair of these stamps with no plate identification number, the value is $300. However, a strip of five with the plate number included increases the value to $4,000. Number 22, we have this New York Stock Exchange stamp, which was issued in 1992 to mark the exchange's 200th anniversary. The red and green colors were applied by lithography and the black ink applied in a separate inking process. However, 28 stamps somehow received no black ink. If you are lucky enough to have one of these in your stamp collection, you have an item worth $4,000. At number 21, we have this Daffy Duck, who was honored on the pane issued in 1999. As is normal on all stamps today, serpentine die cuts were applied to the edges. Now look at the two stamps in the lower right corner, which I've enhanced for clarity. The horizontal die cut for separating the two stamps is missing. Only one pane of stamps was ever found with this error, making this a unique pair of stamps with a catalog value of $4,200. At number 20, in 1992, the United States and Russia released this joint issue honoring their space accomplishments. Some of the stamps, however, got missed by the yellow ink roller and wound up with the yellow color missing from the design. Ten of these blocks are known to exist, each with a value of $4,700. At number 19 comes this Uncle Sam coil issued in 1998. It suffered the same indignity as the Statue of Liberty coil earlier, missing some of its die cuts, and as with that one, 
only on stamps printed from plate number 1111. Again, there is only one strip known with the plate number on it, and this strip will cost you a cool $5,000. Now at number 18, we have this pane of 20 jazz musicians, which was issued in 1995. During the perforation process, somehow the bottom row of stamps was missed, leaving two pairs of John Coltrane Errol Garner stamps imperforate. Only two of these imperforate pairs are known to exist, and they are valued at $5,000 each. We come now to a third example of a coil stamp error. According to the auction company Warwick & Warwick, coil stamps are more prone to errors than are other formats of stamps because their, their process is a more highly automated one and there are fewer points along the way where visual inspection takes place. A pair of these imperf stamps is valued at $3,500 while a strip of five that includes the plate number inscription A43333 is valued at $5,200. Next, at number 16, this set of stamps showing eight different dog breeds was issued in 1984. It was printed in panes of 40 stamps, and one pane was discovered with no horizontal perforations, resulting in eight blocks of four and four vertical pairs of stamps with missing horizontal perforations. Each block is valued at $5,500. In 1992, this set of stamps showing various minerals was issued. The multicolored stamps featured silver lithographed inscriptions in the upper part of the stamps. Two strips of four stamps had been discovered with a silver color missing. To get one for your own stamp collection will require an outlay of about $6,000. In this sheet from 1991, commemorating World War II, the colored areas were lithographed while the black inscriptions were engraved. Two sheets have been discovered with the black missing from the engraved portion. Each one is valued at $6,500. We come now to one of the more striking errors on this list, and it's notable because it's not even a postage stamp. Rather, it's a postal card with pre-printed postage on it. It is also a combination error. For the 1984 Summer Olympics, this postal card with a multicolored pre-printed stamp on it was produced. However, five of these had been discovered where not only were the yellow and black colors of the design inverted, but also shifted dramatically to the left of the magenta and the blue colors. This card is valued at $7,000. At number 12, we have one of the transportation coils I mentioned at the beginning of the show. Stamps from two different printing plates have been found imperforate. While 32 pairs exist, worth $1,700 each, there is only one strip of five from each plate that includes the plate number one or two on it. They are valued at $7,000 each. At number 11, we have another transportation coil. This one is the $1 seaplane. It has also been found imperforate, but from only one printing plate, number one. If you want the only known plate number strip, it'll cost you $8,500. At number 10, another Olympics issue. In 1984, this set was issued in panes of 50 stamps. Now keep your eye on the last two columns of stamps. One astute stamp collector found the only pane known to be imperforate between columns nine and 10 resulting in two imperforate blocks of four, with an imperf pair left over. Each of the blocks of four is worth $9,000. At number nine, this pair of stamps featuring popular singers was issued in 1994. One pane has been discovered completely imperforate. It is valued at $10,000. At number eight, in 1986, the Postal Service issued a set of four miniature panes of stamps depicting 35 presidents. One copy of pane number one was discovered completely imperforate. That pane is valued at $10,000. Next up is one of the most striking errors you are ever likely to see. This William Soroyan commemorative was printed in five colors, black, maroon, yellow, magenta, and cyan. Somehow, four of the colors went missing in action, leaving only the black area printed. Only one stamp has been discovered with this error. 
It's valued at $11,000. At number six, we have the Bicentennial of South Carolina Statehood issue. It was issued in 1988, and in one pane, three stamps were found with no vertical perforations. These are the only known imperforate stamps of this issue. The strip of three is valued at $12,500. Now, remember the New York Stock Exchange issue we saw at number 22 on the list? Well, it shows up again here at number five. On the same two panes from which the color missing errors came were also found 56 stamps with the two black vignettes inverted. One of these stamps will set you back a cool 17 grand. Now at number four, we have probably the most famous US error of the modern era. And though its official issue date was 1979, which is technically outside of, you know, the, the bounds I set for this list, this particular stamp was printed in 1985. So my show, my rules. In 1986, a CIA employee went to the post office to buy stamps for the agency. He picked up a partial pane of 95 $1 stamps, which he took back to the office and then discovered what has now become known as the CIA invert with the yellow and orange candle and flame inverted from the rest of the design. It should be noted though that this is inaccurate as the yellow and orange flame and candle were printed first and it is the brown printing which was actually inverted in the second printing step. 73 singles and three blocks of four are known to exist. A single will set you back $17,000 and a block of four was auctioned in a December 2015 Cherry Stone auction for $71,875. Number three on the list is a pane of 50 different stamps featuring state birds and flowers. It was issued in 1982 and two sheets have been discovered completely imperforate. They are now worth about $21,000 each. Number two on the list brings back the New York Stock Exchange stamp for a second encore. As it turns out, some of the black missing stamps and the inverted center stamps were adjacent to each other in the two discovery panes. It is unclear to me how many of these combination error pairs exist, but a single pair is valued at $22,000. Now the number one issue on the list is not an error stamp. In 2013, the Postal Service commemorated the 100th anniversary of the famous inverted Jenny stamp with this souvenir sheet recreating the design on six $2 stamps. To spur some excitement and increase sales, 100 sheets were specially printed with the Jenny right side up. These sheets were packaged in sealed opaque envelopes indistinguishable from those containing regular inverted Jenny sheets and then randomly distributed to post offices nationwide with the regular inventory. The last three sales of these sheets have been in the range of $55,000 to $75,000. So that's our list of rare and valuable modern day U.S. issues. How many of them do you have in your stamp collection? Let me know in the comments below. And then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of new episodes as they go up. Until then, this is Ted the Talking Stamp Collector wishing you happy stamping. See you next time.